Hey guys, it's me the Cats, and today we're doing something a little bit different. I hope you guys enjoy this new kind of video and let me know down in the comments if you want to see more like it. But what we're going to be doing is comparing a few of the different Minecraft hosting services. Uh, a lot of people ask me, you know, when they want to create new servers, what different options there are, how do they do it, and what we're going to be doing is looking at the free ones today. So when I run Minecraft servers myself, I pay for my hosting and I use Bisect Hosting. I've been using them for the past five years and it is a very fantastic service that I would highly recommend to anybody who wants to get into server making. But not everybody has a budget. Sometimes it's just kids that want to play different Minecraft servers or just want to play maps with their friends. But we're going to be exploring some of the different free options that are available. Those being Atenos, Minehut and Sticky Piston. So I have already played around with these different services and I'm just going to summarize what I learned from them and recommend to you my favorite one out of all of them. So this is the Atenos server. The user interface is terrible, the layout is terrible, and I'm just getting bombed with advertisements. If I turn Adblocker off, it bombs the crap out of me. Continue to use with Adblocker anyway and then it makes me wait three seconds. So server Atenos, you're done for. I don't like it. I'm not going to use it. I tried installing a world and it crashed on me and that was just a basic world. The next one is Minehut. Minehut I actually really really like. Um, the dashboard and the user interface is really good. What I ended up doing was coming to the market here. There is a catalog and you can just install a whole bunch of pre-made worlds, pre-made maps. So if you want to play a whole bunch of different maps with your friends, I really recommend Minehut. What you do is you just find a whole bunch of the different maps that you like install them into the world and then use multiverse to import them and then you can just play whatever map you want. The issue with Minehut and the issue with Atenos is that these servers are not running 24-7. They only run when you want them to run. So we have to come to the activate page here, switch it on and there is a 30 second cooldown with an ad. This is one of the reasons I really don't like this service, ads. But then again with a free service this has to make money somehow and this is the way it's done. So this is the server interface for Minehut. It's Pretty good actually. Um, this is the base page. You can start, stop your server, a whole bunch of the default settings. You can install plugins and then there's a file manager which looks pretty solid to me. So I already installed the Cops and Robbers uh, map and you just do that from the market. It automatically imports it into the server files and then I just use the multiverse plugin to import the world. If you go to Minecraft here you can see that my Minehut server is running. Boom, this is where it teleports me. So I also installed the Mineverse plugin, like I said, and you can see all the different plugins as you would on a regular bucket server. If we go to the MV list, you can see that I've already imported the cops and rubbers thing. So all you have to do is go MVTP, and I should have made it a shorter name. I kind of regret doing that, but whatever. MVTP, and here you go. This is the cops and robbers world. So as I mentioned before, what I would recommend with this service is just install a whole bunch of the different maps that you want to play, make sure they are on the right version, and then you just go into the multiverse and you type uh, multiverse import world normal, and then you can just play with them with your friends. The reason I really like Minehut is as it's free and as it has a pretty default interface, if you want to get into server making or anything like that, this is a pretty good option. Literally just open it up, Hop into your file manager, you can upload your plugin jars as you would any server and it's just a really good way to kind of learn the system, learn how it all works and at the end of the day it's free. So if you want to get into server making I really recommend using Minehut. So when it comes to Minehut versus Atonos, Minehut is the winner. Bang. Conversation over. The one thing we got to discuss for Minehut is its pricing for server plans. Um, like I said this is free but if you want to upscale your project and you've already built this server, you want to upscale it, it's going to cost you money to host it to more people. Now granted, what you can do is you can just take this entire world that you've created and download it and then import it onto another service. That's probably what I would recommend. But if, say, you want to host using Minehut, these are the different plans that are available. Now you pay 40 credits per day or 720 credits per month to run on the default 2 gigabyte of RAM. Now this uh, equates to about five to six dollars per month. So yeah, if you want to run on the smallest plan, it's five to six dollars a month. And then the largest plan here is 10 gigabytes of RAM or $50 per month. Now all I want to say is to compare it to Bisect hosting. So if you want to go on Bisect hosting for 10 gigabytes worth of RAM, that's going to cost you $30 per month. Or for $50 per month, you can get 16 gigabytes worth of RAM. So for value, Bisect hosting is a much better value. 
So what I recommend for anybody that wants to get into server development, open up a free Mineheart account, create a world, build it up how you like, save the world, and then transfer it over to a different hosting service that is much cheaper. One of the things I actually really like about this Mineheart website is there is a server list where you can share your different servers. And the other good thing is that there is a lobby for the Mineheart. So you can just go into the Mineheart lobby and then teleport to your friends' world. You just type slash join their name and it just takes you onto their server. Everybody basically on the Mineheart server has their own server, which is really good. So it's kind of like a hub for lots of different servers, which I like. Now, I would say install and plugins is very, very simple to do, but if you have no experience with it, it can be quite intimidating. Um, and there are kids that are going to want to play adventure maps with their friends and they're not going to know how to install maps. Um, you saw how easy it is to install maps on Mineheart, but importing them is a bit more complicated and that's why I use Multiverse. Now, Multiverse is very simple to use, but like I said, kids aren't going to know about it. So if you just want to play a map with your friends, I really recommend using Sticky Piston Hosting. Now with Sticky Piston Hosting, you can just select whatever map you want on whatever version you want. Uh, currently we're on 116.2, so let's say we want to do the Sprint Racer map. We click Start Server now. Cool, and now we are running the Sprint Racer map. It's going to be running for two hours. It's currently loading in the world, and all of this is free. You don't even need to create an account. All you do is come on Sticky Piston, click Free Trial. You don't have to enter any credentials, anything like that. You just pick whatever map you want, it runs it, and you play it. It is absolutely perfect for YouTubers or streamers that want to play maps with their friends. So just to summarize everything, if you want to play custom maps with your friends, Sticky Piston is the way to go. If you want to get into server development, I recommend using Mineheart. Start with a free plan, play around with it, and then once you know what you're doing, you can either save your world and port it over to a different hosting, or you can just start from scratch using a different hosting. If you want to pay for your hosting, I recommend Bisect Hosting. I've been using them for years. The default plan costs $3 per month. It's really, really cheap and it's really, really good. And then the last one was, what was the, what was the, what was the first service we discussed at the beginning? I've already forgotten what it's called. And the last service was Atenos. Look at this user interface. It's absolutely terrible. Don't use it. Hope you guys have enjoyed this fast paced discussion on Minecraft servers. Um, this is something I'm really passionate about and I do all the time. So if you want to know anything about Minecraft hosting or any uh, server development advice, just let me know in the comments below and I'll answer any questions. If you want to see more content like this, please let me know by liking the video and subscribing. And I'm also contemplating doing kind of a server development video, kind of similar to the prison ones I did, but I want to do maybe survival or kit PVP or factions or something or popular so if you want to see that also let me know in the comments and i will definitely get about to making it because this is really interesting stuff to me and i absolutely love it but anyway it's been your boy to cats see you around peace